Jim Rathman, 1960 winner, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The checkered flag, Rathman wins. Just 12 seconds behind his ward, a terrific finish. Today, the lead changed hands 30 times. I knew I could beat Roger, I just felt at my bones nobody was gonna beat me in 1960 to win that race. Al Lenser, 1970, Indianapolis 500 winner. There's the checkered flag. He takes it, and it's all over. Al Unser has won the 1970 Indianapolis 500, the crowning glory of a race driver's career. Oh, it, it's just the greatest feeling you can ever imagine that you have accomplished something that, that you've dreamed about, of just being at Indianapolis. There wasn't anything that I couldn't do when I wanted to lead. You know, when you say I led 190 laps, I mean, that's an awful lot of laps to lead around here. <laughs> Johnny Rutherford, 1980, Indianapolis 500 winner. Rutherford is headed for the checkered flag, capping a month of May in which he has been the dominant force at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Icing the cake that saw him fastest in practice, fastest in qualifying, and now fastest in the 64th Indy 500, Johnny Rutherford takes the checkered flag. Being able to enjoy that title. Johnny Rutherford, three-time Indy winner. It's a great thrill to have been a part of it, period. But to have qualified for the race, to have sat on the pole for an event, to win the race, not once, but three times. You know, you think about that and that's, uh, like I say, one of the greatest feelings of sense of accomplishment that, that uh, you can have. Ari Leindijk, 1990, Indianapolis 500 winner. There's the main straightaway line ahead, and his destiny, Ari Leindijk, comes for the checkered flag and picks up the win as Ari Leindijk wins the 74th running of the Indianapolis 500, his very first IndyCar victory. Ari Leyendijk, welcome to the Indianapolis 500 victory lane. I think it's a dream. I don't know what's happening. It's unbelievable. That moment kind of goes through your head as a race car driver. You, you think that when it's going to happen and how it's going to be, and it kind of was that way. Uh, I, I used to pretend like I was on my way to winning the Indy 500, just in my mind, playing it in my mind. And so uh, I had been there before, but it was just a dream. Juan Pablo Montoya, winner 2000, Indianapolis 500. You're the winner of the Indianapolis 500, pal. Indeed, 24-year-old Juan Montoya wins the 84th running of the Indianapolis 500. It was really cool, you know, get to victory lane. And then you, you know, when you get there, you, you start understanding why it's so big. The tradition is so big. And it's amazing how much history is here. You know, and I think that's what makes Indy so special. 